It's a pleasure having you again, my friends. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the solution to question 10 a, 10b, a typical uh, circle theorem question, all right, on the May 2012 CSEC math exam pass paper and solutions. Usually, you find this question in section 2 under the heading measurements, geometry, and trigonometry. Now, here it states, the diagram below, not drawn to scale, shows a circle, center O. And if you should look carefully, our center is marked O, all right? Now, it states, the line UV w is a tangent to the circle okay so if you notice the line at the bottom here this magenta line i'm running my pointer along uvw it's a tangent to the circle and that simply means that the line only touches the circumference at a single point okay and if you notice it only touches the circumference at the point u all right so that is what that that what it means but that's what it means by a tangent all right, all right. So Z O X W is a straight line and angle U O X is equal to 70 degrees. All right. Now, pretty much they're asking us to calculate, showing our workings, uh, the measure of the angle O U Z. So basically what they're asking us to find is the angle that is at U. Okay. That is the letter that is in the middle. So since they're asking us to calculate the, the angle O U OUZ, we're going to consider that triangle, OUZ, okay? And if you notice, my friends, let me just grab my pointer. This is the triangle. This is the point O that I have my pointer on, and I'm coming down to U and then go up to Z, okay? So this is the triangle we are considering. Now, just pretend as if I would have used, let's say I use a scissors and cut this triangle out, okay? So if I should cut out that triangle over here in the top, top right hand corner I would have something looking like this my friends let me just change the color I would have something a shape looking like this so I would have a triangle like that now let's just look at some properties of this triangle okay now here if you should notice the length let me just grab my colors all right let's just mark the angle that they're asking us to find I'm just going to color it in red here okay that's the angle that they want us to find but before we can find that angle we have to identify some properties of this triangle now notice that this is the triangle O is at the top here and then we would have Z here, okay? And then we would have or U right there. Now, this length, my friends, this length, the length from O to Z, if you notice, O starts from the center of the circle and it stops at Z on the circumference. Now, this length here, it's a radius because a radius is any line drawn from the center of the circle to any point on the circumference, okay? So we have a radius there, and if you should notice, we have from O to U is another radius, okay? So here, my friends, we have two radii, okay? So basically, from O to Z, this side there, that's a radius. So I'm going to mark it with an R, and likewise, that side is another radius. Now, remember, in any triangle, uh, whenever you have two sides that are of the same length, this is called an isosceles triangle. Now, in an isosceles triangle, you must remember that the base angles are equal, okay? Now, that was just a, a preview as to how we're going about uh, biz our business in finding the angle OUZ. So now, watch me carefully now, my friends. And I'm just going to walk you through this so that you, you get the general idea. So when you see a question like this again, I mean, it's much easier for you, okay? Now, here, guys, what I'm going to do, since they had stated that Z Z O Z O let me change the color Z O X W and I'm underlining it there is on a straight line then it simply means then that this angle which is 70 degrees plus this angle if I should as I'm drawing that blue arc around there this angle here so the angle Z O U and the angle that is 70 degrees would sum to 180 degrees. So let's find, let's quickly then calculate the angle, angle Z O U. So this angle would be equal to 180 minus the 70, okay? And that would leave us with uh, 110 degrees, okay? Now remember, my friends, that's a geometric concept. So when working out a geometric concept, we should always state our reason, okay? And here I have it. Just give me a sec. Let me pull it up. All right. Here we have angles on a straight line sum to 180. 
80 degrees. So that's our reason for that. Now we know that the angle at, at O here at the center is 108, 110 my 110 and just wrote it in 110 degrees. Now basically since we have established initially that this is an isosceles triangle okay then we can work out the sum of the base angles okay my friends so here now we're just simply going to calculate we're going to be calculating the sum of the base angles in the triangle OUZ so let's just pull up that note okay now to calculate that value my friends basically what we're going to be saying we're going to we're just going to say the, the sum of the base angles, this will give me uh, 180. Let me just change the color quickly. 180 degrees, which is the sum of the interior angles in a triangle, minus the angle at the top, which is 110. My bad. That should be 110. Now, basically, this implies that um, 180 minus that will leave us with a 70 degrees. All right. So what we have just done, we have just used another um, geometric proof to say then that the sum of the angles in a triangle or angles in a triangle are supplementary. OK, so there I've made another important piece of note. So basically, my friends, the final part now for us to get the angle OUV, since we have worked out the fact that the sum of the base angles adds up to 70 degrees, then it simply means then this angle here, this angle here at the base plus that angle there, that would be 70 degrees. And if both angles are equal, then we would say the angle that they're asking us to find, which is OUZ, okay, must be equal to 70 divided by 2 since they are equal so that would be equal to 35 degrees and this would be our final geometric reason for that okay so let me just pull that up quickly so that we can see that so we would simply say since the triangle OUZ since triangle OUZ is an isosceles triangle then base angles are equal so that's um two marks all right uh, maybe there are other ways of looking at it uh, you could always explore all right so uh, feel free to like leave a comment subscribe or even share with your friends so that they also too can benefit from the process okay but guys bye bye